The Google Pixel 3 XL is out in the open. It was just a matter of time until someone disassembled it. The first to do so is the trusty iFixit, and while digging through the Pixel 3 XLs in arts didn't result in any groundbreaking discoveries. There are still a few interesting changes compared to the last generation of Pixel phones. First of those is the fact that Google has used a Samsung Mate AMOLED screen in the new Pixel 3 XL. The company used LG Mate screens in the previous Pixels and while both companies produce fine OLED screens, Samsung screens do tend to be a little better. Note that it's quite possible that Google is sourcing OLED screens from both companies. Another interesting detail is that Google has been using a lot of glue in the Pixel 3 XL which probably makes it more waterproof. The phone is rated at IP68 which is top of the class right now. But on the other hand, this makes it much harder to open. The all glass back of the phone can be cracked quite easily, finding the Pixel 3 XL a pretty low repairability score of 4 out of 10. What else? Well. The battery is just a smidgen smaller than one on the Pixel 2 XL and the battery is replaceable if you are really really careful. Now let's see and read the final thoughts of iFixit on this teardown. First one is the only screws are standard T3 Tox fasteners. Second, repair friendly stretch release adhesives cure the battery. Third, O-rings and adhesives for waterproofing complete care repairs but make difficult liquid damage repairs less likely. Fourth, display repairs are much more difficult than previous models requiring complete disassembly of the phone. Fifth, you will have to painstakingly unglue the glass rear panel. So the last one is front and back glass means increase vulnerability to drop damage. So yeah guys, what's your thoughts on this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and yeah, peace out.